Kamra. I am here to teach you chapter Accounting for Partnership Firm Fundamentals of the book Accounting for Partnership Firm Part A Volume 1. According to Section 4 of Indian Partnership Act 1932, partnership is the relation between persons who have agreed to share profit of a business carried on by all or any one of them acting for all. What does it mean? It means it is a relation between persons. Person means who are qualified by law, who are not of unsound mind and who are not minor. They have agreed. Agreed means there should be agreement between the partners. Agreement may be written or oral. But it is good for the partnership if it is in written form because if there is a, some, some quarrel between the partners, it can be sorted by written agreement. And to share the profit means the main motive of the partnership is to earn maximum profit and it should be distributed among partner in their agreed ratio and there should be a business. Business means it should be legal business and carried on by all means it can be conducted by all the partners actively as well as any of them acting for all means out of the partners some can take active participation into the conduct of business. So, from this definition, there are some features or characteristics of partnership firm. One, two or more person. Number one point is two or more person means two persons are required to form a partnership. And maximum according to section 464 of Indian Company Act 2013, it is 100. But, but according to rule 10 of companies rule 2014 maximum partners are 50. One mark question can be asked in the exam that how much the maximum limit of partner is there that should be 50. Now the second point is agreement. Agreement. I have already told you agreement there should be agreement between the partners. It may be oral. It may be written. But if it is in written form, it is good for the partnership form because when there is a conflict between partners, then it can be sorted by written agreement. It is a document in which all the rules and regulations of the partnership are written. Now the third point is existence of business and profit motive profit motive means there should be existence of business i am giving you an example for example there are two person ram and sham and they have purchased a plot of land that is not a partnership that is co ownership and profit motive should be there in partnership means all the partners should join together to earn maximum profit. After that, the fourth point is profit sharing. When they have earned profit from the partnership, then there should be distribution of profit among themselves. I am giving you an example. For example, there are three partners A, B and C. They are distributing the profit in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. The total of 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. It means A will get out of the total profit 3 by 6 and B will get 2 by 6 and C will get 1 by 6. For example, there is a profit of rupees 60,000. A's share will be, A's share will be 60,000 into 3 by 6. It will be 30,000. And B's share will be 60,000 into 2 by 6. It will be rupees 20,000. And C's share will be C's share will be 
सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इंटू वन बाय सिक्स इट विल बी रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड If nothing is mentioned about profit sharing ratio, then it should be equal. Means one is to one is to one. Means sixty thousand into one by three, twenty thousand will be given to A, will be given to B, and will be given to C. Now the fifth point is business carried by all or. any of them acting for all means business can be carried by all the partners actively or any of them acting for all means out of the partners some partners can take active participation into the conduct of the business now sixth point is principal and agent means every partner is a principal as well as agent how in this ex example there are three partner a b and c a is a principal because he has invested money into the business and a is responsible for work done by b and c that's why he is a principal but b and c are responsible for the work done by a means a has to do work for the partnership firm that's why he is an agent b and c are principal also because they are responsible for the work done by a i hope you understood the topic next topic i will discuss in the next video thanks for watching